Here's a list of all the important items to grab before leaving Repcon. As soon as we enter, on the right-hand side, we can find a few dead fiends here that have some loot on them. And if we talk to the first Mr. Handy at the back, we can get him to give us a tour of the museum, which we will want him to do for some loot later on. So we'll let him do that, and while he does that, we're going to move on to the gift shop here on the left. And we have a star cap on the counter, and a bunch of loot in the back room behind a hard lock. We have a safe, as well as a big book of science, and two Nuka-Cola quartz, and victory. And once he's finally done the tour, we get into this, what do they call these, orries? I don't know what they're called, whatever the fuck these things are called. We can head on into this back room here and grab Jenny Millet's security key card, which will give us access to the first and second floor. All right, now that we've got the key card. We're going to walk past the dead fiends and open this door. And on the second desk on the left, there will be a star cap under this bottle, as well as a few microfusion cells on the desk behind it. Keep an eye open. There's lots of cells lying around in here. And behind the average locked door, we have a bunch of loot here. We have three ammo containers, a plasma pistol, a bunch of microfusion cells, a med kit, and a plasma rifle. And moving on through all the way through the office here, we have a very hard locked door, but we're going to ignore that for now and uh, go on up to the second floor. And right here, we have a door on the left, and we go straight to the back, and there is a Nikola Tesla and you sitting on the desk. Keep wandering around, find this poster that says, wear your badge, you could save your life. And directly on the left, we have a few things in here. We have a star cap on the table. We have a key card for security access to this floor if you didn't grab Jenny Millet's key card. And we can also get a key card for the third floor on this hard lock terminal here. Finally, moving on to the third floor, we can find one of the Brotherhood patrols that the Brotherhood of Steel want you to find when helping them out. We can find a suitcase with this level security key card and 200 pre-war money. And if we walk right past that, through these double doors here on the right, we will find a star cap sitting on the desk. And that's basically it for the third floor. So we're going to go back to the second floor here where we were looking at the same post earlier. We're going to go down the hall to this employees are our greatest asset sign. And right across from it, we want to go through this door. And this door will lead us back down to the first floor, but it'll be a different way. You'll know it's it because it'll be all destroyed here. So we're going to go on through down here. And there is the Q35 matter modulator as well as a safe, a bunch of microfusion cells, and a Nikola Tesla and you as well as a med kit if you want it. As I said, this is the very hard lock door that we ignored earlier. There's a terminal on this side that you don't need any skill to activate and the executive key card will open it for us. So we can just crack that open, head on back, and that is gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hope this was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate it. And uh, have a good one.